Hello all and welcome back for a new project thingamabob. Uh so this is as you can see um this is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's an old game from 2003 if I recall correctly. Um and it's one of my all-time favorite Star Wars games. So uh as a quick note, this game tends to crash. So, yeah. Let's ignore the black bars on the side of the screen that will be fixed once we actually start the game. So anyway, let's... Let's go. Uh, so this is our character selection screen, or our class selection screen. Uh, crap, I should have prepared better for this. Um, where is... Because I do have a list here over what I usually have. Uh, we're gonna go scout, male scout, uh, because lore. Well, the main character, lore-wise, is male. So, and this is the one, the face I usually use. No real reason. That's just what I prefer. Uh, for our stats, we're gonna go 10 strength, because strength doesn't really matter, uh, once you get, because dexterity is what works, is basically the same in a lot of ways as strength in this game, but just a lot better. Build constitution, a lot of intellect, so we get max maximum skill points, wisdom, we're also gonna have a lot of for forest points and a lot of charisma, so we can talk our way out of any situation. So that's our stats. As for skills, uh, let's do this real quick. Um, I use this a lot. I don't really use demolition, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Because I do want Persuade. Repair is good, Treat Injury is good, so yeah. Security though. I might get rid of... Uh, actually no. Let's go with this. Alright, let me see here. Do I want to be a dual weapon or a single weapon this playthrough? Uh... Let's go dual. Why not? Dual is cooler. I like dual weapon. We're gonna name ourselves after me, of course. We're not gonna have a last name because I'm not that inventive. Alright, let's play. by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Who are you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Who's Bastila? is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. But Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Okay, let's go help Bastila. Hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. Alright, so as a quick note, um, apparently I can't record cutscenes. 
the actual regular cutscenes. Uh, that's not too bad because we don't you don't lose out on a lot with that to be honest. So it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, we got some starter equipment here. It's not much. We could go with the pistol, but this is a melee playthrough, so this is a starter starter gear. Uh, it's not much, but you know. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. All right, so now we got a first party member. This is Trask. He's a level three because soldier. Of the attack, this room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of dialogue in this game, but there's also like dialogue options. So, uh, yes. oh right, I have to use Trask for this. Now so yeah, you can swap open, party members. Um, you can swap party members back and forth because uh, let me see can I actually look at this um, yeah party members have different skills so like uh, Trask will have more security while as uh, me I don't have any so party members will have different skills and abilities to use uh, the are threatening to overrun our position we can't hold out long against their firepower all hands to the bridge that was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Let's move out. So yeah, so party members will have different skills and abilities than you. Like here, yes. the store is locked, so we have to swap the trash to unlock it with security. Which is actually pretty cool. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. Okay, so here we are our first instance of combat. I'm gonna quick save here because Yeah. Alright, let's go. Combat in this game at least early on give me kind of um, iffy. Because we're we're a dexterity character, so actual uh, bi melee weapons right now is going to be quite bad. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. See, a lot of this stuff is just uh, tutorial stuff. Advanced med pack? No, we're not using that. Alright. Yeah, you definitely want to use med 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 pack there. Because, yeah, as you can see, you're gonna miss a lot. But that's fine, though. Based on our stats, is uh, based on what we're gonna do a lot later. And Trask is still good at pull, pulling our weight for us right now. So... Okay, so we got just got our first actual piece of our... <sighs> Gotta wait for the combat stance to drop. A lot of times. Uh, so we got a first piece of armor here, which gives us a defense bonus of 4 and a dexterity bonus of 5, which is pretty good right now. Uh, we also got a long sword, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm not gonna go dual wield right now, because, yeah. Dual wielding gives you a huge penalty to your hit rate, and until we upgrade our dual wielding stat a lot more than it's just not worth it. There's a huge battle here, and it's only us two, but uh, this is kind of like your tutorial for grenades right here. Grenades are really powerful and are very nice to use a lot of times. Alright, that should do it. 
Oh, he healed. What the hell? So yeah, as you can see, I'm, we're gonna be missing a lot, but that's why we're gonna have party members who can cover our asses. So it's not bad. Uh, so, we... so, there's a lot of stuff to be explained in this game, like the story <coughs> and everything. Basically, what's going on right now is that um, there is a war between the Sith, the Sith and the Republic. Um, So yeah, more on that later. I'm not gonna talk too much about that, but that's basically what's going on right now. Dark Jedi, this fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Ah! That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Well, that's how it goes. Alright. What do we got here? A cryoban grenade. That's not bad. Med pack. Adrenal strength. Those are really good. We're gonna be using those later. And another med pack. I'm gonna use one here because there's a fight coming up. Which I'm not. Which I. Well, this fight. This is the bridge. And. With the bridge, there's enemies. Obviously. There's enemies all over this place. We can't let them take the ship! Bastel is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastel alive. But once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust! Right then. Alright, so we're gonna loot everything here. As we do with everything. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of looting in this game. Uh, nothing up there. Right, so we won't be able to get out here before we do this. So this is the level up. Uh, the level up screen, or the level up thing we're gonna have to do a lot in this game. So every level up you get skill points, you may get a feat, and may get a attribute points like the ones down here. Um, it's uh, dependent on what level you get. So uh, Right now we have four points we can spend, so we're gonna put that, 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 and that. Feats, um... Oh, I should get. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Anything that gives attack bonus and stuff is good to have as early as possible. All right, so let's uh, head on through and see where this leads us. Something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. Alright, so before I continue, I should cover that. Um, our swords are made out of cortosis. Uh, or they have a, a coated work with cortosis, something like that. Something Trask explains if you don't have a melee equip weapon equipped when you go into the um, bridge section. Because, uh, in case. So that's why some regular soldiers can fight Jedi's, but. They will obviously still won't have a chance, so... Alright, let's go. This is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basila's escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pod. Alright, let's go. Oh, crap, there's a guy there. We have to fight alone. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, with a different class, you can stealth through this, but obviously we don't have stealth equipment and skills. So, so 
yeah, fighting is gonna be a bit more difficult when we're alone. Let's heal up. And before we go into this room, I'm gonna quick save again. I'm gonna be doing that a lot because dying sends you back to the menu screen and obviously we don't want that to happen. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Hmm. Obviously we won't be able to take on the whole room by ourselves. So as Cardenas has said, we're gonna cheat. Um, I could mess with the droid for the extra experience, but we're not gonna do that. Alright, we don't need the tutorials, we're gonna view the star sport transport module. So it basically shows, you can see, watch cameras into areas where there are enemies like this, and you can overload the power conduit. So yeah, this is a very useful thing to do every time there is, um, whenever there is enemies about, a lot of enemies about in a room. Always good to hack a terminal and see, uh, see if you can get something in there. And this is the prototype vibroblade we just got, which is actually really good. Um, so yeah, balance plus two plus O versus two weapon penalty if used in the offhand. Uh, does not mean I should really use it like this. <coughs> Hold on, let me see. Uh, we have a plus two here right now, but if you do this, minus two and minus four, four. So yeah, I'm gonna put it here for now. Uh, do we have anything else? No. Okay. All right, let's go say hi to Card, I guess. Um, yeah. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Who are you? I'm a soldier with Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Vassal's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. All right then. Let's go. Last escape pod is your only hope of survival. Use the escape pod. For some reason, you can step away, even though there's no point. Try and get up yet. You were smashed up pretty bad when we crash landed here on Terrace. Don't worry, we should be safe here in this apartment. I gave you something to help you sleep. Just get some rest and let the cult opacks do their job. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you ever got to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I had a strange dream, like a vision or That's something. Surprise. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed. Luckily, I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Guess I owe you my life. You don't Thanks. Have I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit.
but it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Why is it so important to find Bastila? Your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here on Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so important? Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call Battle Meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her Battle Meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast she never had a chance to use her Battle Meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. So what do you suggest we do next? Basil's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Basil won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under no ships can land or take off. So, if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Any idea where we should start looking for Bastila? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. The sooner we start looking for Bastila, the sooner we find her. Good Let's idea. go. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. Alright, soldier. Let's move out. 